everyone, welcome back to my nerdy corner. I'm Kukush and today I have a very special video. As promised last week and a few weeks ago, I finally received the thing I was expecting in the post and today I have a very special video. Ah, let me explain. Uh, I found this YouTube channel called Nintendo. I'll leave all the links down below of the video of the, the console I'm going to be doing, which is the classic N64 mini console, which is amazing he made it himself so but let me explain the story um he did a competition on his channel uh of a few prizes and the number one prize was the n64 uh again i'll leave a video for your viewing pleasure you know the actual console and he did a competition and i won first place he re i received an email from him saying congratulations uh, you won the prize, but the problem is it will be too much money to send over the controller and I said no problem, I have plenty of USB controllers and plus I bought one, that's what I was waiting for in the post and it finally arrived and I can't believe I won so like I said I'll leave a link to his channel and a link to his videos about the N64 if you want to watch that more in detail but in today's video I'll be unboxing, showing it to you guys and testing it the the N64 Classic. This is the box I received it. I covered my address with a piece of paper. And Drew, uh, if you're watching it, thank you so much. I love it. I test it. It was amazing. It was so much fun. It gave me such nostalgic feelings. Thank you so much. And keep up the great work. You're a fantastic YouTuber. Uh, uh, and I'm so jealous of your entire collection because your collection is amazing. Well, without further ado, let's see what this um, box comes with. Guys, here's the box it came with. So I use a white piece of paper to cover my address and I've written out here's one of, over here. So without further ado, let's unbox this. So I'll show it what it came with. So, okay, first things first, this is a controller I bought online on eBay. It was around seven dollars or something from China so yes yeah, a USB controller because that's what it needs it's bigger than the console I'll do a comparison in a second so that's why I've been waiting all this time to show off to you guys it can't he's it was kindly enough to send me a HDMI cable he didn't have to because I have like tons of these so but it's always nice to have one uh, this is the power cable but I just use my phone charger to power up the console and proof that I did win this competition he sent me this little card it says thanks for watching Jose Nintendo so there's his information if you're interested again thank you so much there's Nintendo review and retro gaming his collection is amazing super jealous so it's nice to have a business card of his and finally here's the console wrapped inside this plastic protector from scratching as you can see oh my god I love it he he told me to use a 3d printer again links below if you're interested in watching the review uh, of how he built it so yep. Oh my god, the detail is quite amazing. So there's the four USB slots. I guess you can connect uh, the internet for that way, you know, wired. There's a head jack, I believe. Uh, there's a HDMI, and that's the power. Uh, the power. To po and there's a memory card in there. So I'm not. I'm not gonna take it out because I'm not gonna risk or breaking it or anything like that or losing all the games. So there's all the American games and Japanese and some ROM hacks in there. I'll show how the interface and how the game list in a bit, so first I'll be showing off. And he was kind enough to sign it for me at the bottom, which makes it even more awesome. So overall, I'm really happy with it. So it's a simple like plug here, plug there. So let me do a comparison of the, the controller. So as you can see, it's much bigger than the console. But another good thing is the you can use my PS4 controller, which I prefer because this controller is a bit like I used to play with it all the time as a kid I'm used to it I don't mind playing with it but there's something about a PS4 controller it just feels nicer to play with also another thing he told me on on the email I needed a USB keyboard to set up my controller 
with that I can do anything for ages. That was another reason why it took so long to do this unboxing. Uh, I had to go to my local hardware store and bought a the cheapest USB uh, keyboard was around 10 euros. Ugh, but I don't want to waste 10 euros to use it once or twice. But yeah, I kept it somewhere, so I'll show it off in a second after I set up the console. So overall. I'm really happy with everything that came with. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to set up the console and I'll see you in a second. Guys, before I show you the games or the interface of the console, I thought I'll show you the setup. As you can see, this is my HDTV. The console is here. One of the bad things or bad things about this it doesn't have an on and off switch so if you want to turn it on there's my phone charger you have to keep plugging in and out i'm just nitpicking but you know if you want to turn it off you have to take it out then if you want to turn it back on it's not it's no big deal back in a little bit there's the keyboard i use or you know to set up the controller but i don't plug it in all the time when i play i just want to show you for the purpose of, for this video and there's the controller and there's another thing i just realized there's no expansion thing that you can put in there it's just empty but there's a z button so overall uh, there's my setup so i'm gonna finish setting it up and i'll show you how it is at the end Hey guys, I'm here. Sorry about the dark room, but I decided to close my curtain because if I left my curtains and my window open, it will be all full of sun glare on the screen. So, uh, I got my, I don't know if you can see this, but I got my um, phone charger plugged in. So, it's the same thing. So, let's hope it works. So, it always starts off with that, so. And the beginning is pretty cool as you can see, you'll see in a second. Ooh, classic, classic edition, that's pretty awesome. And there's like this loading of Nintendo as you can see, looks awesome. I'll be muting the TV because I do not want to get copyright strike from Nintendo. Emulation station. Uh, another thing he told me, he, he told me that um, it uses Raspberry Pi inside the console, so you use a 3D printer to cover it up. So it's basically it's a tiny, tiny computer inside. So as you can see, it's working. So if I use the D-pad or the analog stick, uh, as you can see, it has 629 games. So if I go here, there's hacks, Japanese, revision, and US. So if I go to the US, uh, it has every game possible there is. It's amazing. And uh, so as you can see, Bobberman Bob 64, some sports games that I don't really care for. It's a pretty awesome Castlevania. It's every game possible you, you can imagine. So the list is endless. There's also the Japanese. Like, the, I didn't even know GoldenEye came out in Japan, so... It's pretty amazing. So, and there's some revisions. I guess these are like updated versions. Like for example, Legend of Zelda is the it has green blood instead of the red blood. You know, for example. And there's hacks as well, which is pretty awesome. So like Legend of Zelda: The Patriots Challenge. I'd never heard of this before. So. Uh, first of all, I'll show you the settings. So there's audio, Bluetooth, uh, everything you imagine you can imagine a computer. So pretty awesome. You also can set up Wi-Fi, which I haven't done. So I'll leave that how it is. I'm scared something will be updated and ruin it. So I'll leave it well alone. So without further ado, let's try a game. So let's try. Sorry, let's try. Banjo Kazooie, so uh, that's pretty awesome when it, that shows up. So so it's pretty awesome, and it, they play really good. Some games play better than others, uh, but and the quality looks amazing because it's going for a HDMI cable. So I'm playing these games in HD, which is pretty awesome. So so what happened? Oh, I skipped the cutscene. 
this is a game I haven't played before, which is a shame, so I really should get the Xbox 360 version, but everyone's saying the the N64 version is better, so as you can see, it runs perfectly, it has a Game Boy, and if you want to go back to the main menu, you have to press Start and Z together, see, and you can select whatever game you want, so let's try something, oh, uh, you can't, yeah, so if I press right and left, yeah, it'll go to the menu. So you can't, like, skip it. So let me try. Uh, okay, I can use L and R to skip the list much quicker. So let's try uh, Mario Kart 64. So let's see. I played them. I, I play it like this, not like this. Because, you know, that's not the right way, so... As you notice, I also took out the background music just in case, so... Let's, let's see, first one player, so... There you go. Just to test it, so... Who should I play with? Um, Mario, because he's Mario. And Mushroom Carp, I'm just, again, showing off to you guys, so... Pretty awesome. Luigi Raceway, so one, two, three, and as you can see, they play really nicely in this emulator, so some games play better than others, like I said, some of them are very slow, they lag quite a lot, but, but these games seem to be playing perfectly fine, so now I'm done with that, so let's try a Japanese game, so, so... What Japanese game I should try, so... Oh, this Doraemon. I love Doraemon as a kid, so... I don't think they came out in America or in Europe, so let's see. e -port? Never really heard of it, so... Let's see, let's skip it. See, Doraemon, I have no idea what it says, it's only in Japanese, so... Overall, I'm really happy f with this console. I, c uh, I prefer playing on a TV than a laptop, so... This looks really cute, <laughs> it's like very Japanese, so... Before I go, I figured I'll show you a hack, so if you're interested... Oh, let me show you Legend of Zelda The Patriot Challenge. I have no clue what that is, so I've never heard of it, so... Let's see... Let's see, what does it say? The Legend of Zelda The Pastry Challenge? It has a frog? What is this? I've never seen this in my life, so... I like the green logo, so... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. let's see... There's the safe in there already. What? The forest temple? What is this? Okay, now I'm stuck on the... Yeah. I was stuck on the ocarina, so I couldn't come off of it. So let me see another... Super Mario 74 for some reason. So let's see, instead of 64. Seems like Ordinary 64 to me. Unless there's... No, it says 74 there. You know, behind Mario, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not... The cutscenes will be too long to play, so... And the revisions, again, like I said, I'm pretty sure they're like updated versions of certain games, like, look, three different ocarinas. So, yeah, guys. That's it. There's nothing else I can say about this awesome console. I'm pretty sure Nintendo will release a, an official one one of these days, but I highly doubt it. They'll have as much games as this. They'll probably put the, the you know, like Super Mario 64, uh, Ocarina of Time, maybe even Majora's Mask. The big hitters, there's even 60, Mario, Star Fox 64. Uh, it will be nice, they, similar to the Super Nintendo Classic Day put a unreleased game in there, you know, to make it worthwhile playing it, but guys, that's it for now, uh, I'll leave it with my final thoughts, and I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I had tons of fun of testing out the console. And Drew, if you're watching, thank you so much for going out of your way to send it to me. I know it must have been expensive if you sent the controller, but I bought a cheap one on eBay. Don't worry about it. I didn't waste thousands or hundreds of dollars to, you know, buy a new one. But uh, don't worry, I won't be selling it or anything like that. It's most likely Nintendo is going to release it. An official one. I'm happy with this one. You did a fantastic job with it. I'll treasure it always, so it's in a good home. And yeah, that's all I can say. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, his links for his channel will be down below in the description or at the end of the video. I'll leave a, a annotation of his channel at the end, above mine or something. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!